Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past two-ish weeks in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. Shameless self-promotion time! Last week I did not make a Downtime Tuesday because instead I did a video that highlighted all of the pop culture references that I've found so far in the Legion Alpha. If you would like to watch it, I will have it linked red meow and also in the info below. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> On to actual news, Funko confirmed this past week that the Warcraft movie collection of collectibles will debut as soon as April and I'm very, very excited about this. The Pop and Dorbs collections will feature at least five characters including Lothar, King Lane, Duratan, Orgrim, and Garona. There will also be 12 possible pulls from the mystery mini series including two armor variants for Garona and Lothar. King Lane, Lady Taria, Duratan, Orgrim, Blackhand, Gul'dan, Medivh, and Khadgar. I don't know about you guys, but I will be buying all of them. You may think that I'm exaggerating when I say all of them and that I really mean a lot of them or most of them or some of them, but no, I literally do mean all of them and that includes the Overwatch collection that's coming out soon too because I have a problem with Funkos. But that's not actually me admitting that I have a problem because that would mean that I was on a step to recovery and that's, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. On to actual video game types. Duff Lady Leandrin is the new Paladin hero variant in Hearthstone that you can earn for free by playing World of Warcraft. Players who level a character up to level 20 will earn Lady Leandrin to use in place of Uther if they so choose. Now this does not work retroactively, you actually have to ding 20 organically so you can't use like a boost or a death knight or anything like that, but if you already have a World of Warcraft account you do not have to start at level 1, so if you have an alt sitting around at like... 16 or 18 or 19. You can just level them up the rest of the way to 20 to ding. You can use heirlooms, you can do all that kind of stuff, and it will also work with starter accounts if you don't actually play World of Warcraft and you want to do it for free, even though I'm confused as to why you're watching my videos, but I'm not judging. I'm not judging. And on to things that people actually care about. There have been a few Legion Alpha builds since we last spoke, including one that added the new Legion world map. Check it out. Also in a recent alpha build, teleports to class order halls have been removed and instead there are now portals in Dalaran because Blizzard wants to reinforce that Dalaran is the main city and you need to go there and they don't want people hanging out in a more solitary place. They want you in the city and hanging out with people and being social and whatnot. I feel like it's also important to note that Death Knights, Monks, and Druids will retain their teleports because of where their class order halls are. It's kind of like important to the lore. Also, Mages will have a teleport because they're mages. Most of the other classes will have portals that are scattered all throughout Dalaran to get to their order halls, with the exception of Rogues because their order hall is in Dalaran. Hunters currently just have a flight path to their order hall, which seems kind of boring, so that might be changed in the future. And Demon Hunters have the coolest one of all because their order hall is actually located on a floating island off of Dalaran, and they have to use their racial, no, their class glide ability to get to the island in order to access their portal. I mean, Granted, if they screw it up, a Felbat will catch them and bring them to safety, but it's still really neat that Blizzard implemented their class-only ability to get to their class teleport, to get to their class order hall. It's classy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Another neat thing in a recent alpha build are transmog ensembles and also transmog arsenals. And what those are are basically transmog cosmetic sets and transmog cosmetic weapons. And the majority of them are Warlords of Draenor PvP sets and PvP weapons since those will be kind of unobtainable in the next expansion. But what was interesting is also mixed in there was Worse, <laughs> worse, <laughs> but Scarlet Crusade ensembles for both male and plate wearers. Now, this is particularly 
exciting because a lot of male gear is being converted to plate gear in Legion and people like me who play shamans or hunters are kind of upset that transmog that they maybe paid a lot of money for or worked really hard to grind out might not be available to them anymore. But with something like ensembles, maybe Blizzard could not totally make us really angry. Thanks, Blizzard. Thanks. Pirate's Day has gotten some updates on the Legion Alpha, and I'm pretty excited about these. The first new item is PD, which is an on-use item that makes a little bird perch on your shoulder, which is amazing. Then there's also the Emergency Pirate Outfit, which is an on-use item that's a costume that makes you look like a pirate. And the best one is the Slightly Chewed Insult Book, which is a toy that makes you shout pirate insults at nearby players, which is amazing. And as someone who raids, quite frequently I'm gonna need that. It's important and I need it. Another quick thing that I wanted to mention is that right now on the Legion Alpha, fist weaving is enabled for mist weavers in Legion PvP. And I know a lot of people were really excited about that. And also as of right now, all heroic dungeons are open and available for testing. Before we move on from Legion Alpha stuff, I do want to talk a little bit about Blizzard responding to feedback about Hunters because I personally love it when I hear about Blizzard directly taking player feedback and applying it to changes whether they're done now or in the future, but they actually announced last week that they're going to be using some player feedback to make changes. Basically, the huge feedback was that because marksmanship hunters did not have a pet it was sort of losing the iconic hunter fantasy of of having a pet so a couple changes that they're going to be making are that marksman hunters will have a talent that will allow them to use a pet or not use a pet and it'll be their choice and it'll be a competitive talent so they're making that an option they're also changing it so that beast mastery hunters will have a talent that will allow them to have more focus on one pet as opposed to like herds of animals working and doing their bidding and again that will be a competitive talent so that they can can, you know choose what they want to choose and the third thing is that they're also making a glyph so that Hati which is the um, pet that is summoned with the beast mastery artifact will take the form of the pet of your choice which I think is really cool Moving on to alpha things that are not Legion alpha things, instead the battle.net voice chat service is now in alpha. Now I am not in the alpha so I cannot give you any personal experience but it sounds pretty cool. You will be able to set up your battle.net friends list into different channels and up to 99 people can vo join a voice channel. I, I almost screwed that word up but I saved it at the last minute. And what's cool about it is that it spans all of the Blizzard games and you can talk cross games so it's really like a replacement to Skype or Discord Discord or whatever you may be using right now, potentially. I know that some people that are really excited for this are Heroes of the Storm players as well as World of Warcraft PvPers because they're open to, they're really like vulnerable to internet attacks by using Skype for things like Arena, so it's nice that they'll have something in game. I know that a few years ago World of Warcraft tried to implement a voice service and it was a total flop and everybody hated it and it didn't go over very well. But uh, I am obviously in the Overwatch beta and the voice system in Overwatch is fantastic. I've used it quite a few times and if the battle.net chat system is going to be anything like the Overwatch chat system, I could see it being very successful. So I'm excited to try it out. Maybe someday I'll get into the testing phase of it so that I can test it. But it's okay if I don't. Let me know in the comments if you're in the testing phase and if you've tried it out and how it goes and what you think you know, it's rating of success is going to be. I don't know. Words are hard for me right now. I think it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Of course, I have to mention the Warcraft movie trailers and TV spots that came out this weekend. I cannot post them in this video because Legendary will flag my video for copyright. And after the Jack Swagger WWE copyright incident last week, I just can't take that risk. But I will have all of them linked in the info below. There was a new one minute trailer, then there was a TV spot that was released, and then there was also a 30 second like teaser trailer during, I think, a Halo tournament. I don't know, something to do with shooting games. What do I? I know, but they were all kind of similar but different. We saw a lot more of Khadgar, we saw dwarves, which was very exciting. We saw some magical things happening. So all in all, you guys know I'm very excited for the movie, although I'm a little concerned about the marketing. I don't love the poster they put out. I think it's a really odd choice to put King Lane on the Horde side and Garona's like huge and her Photoshop is really odd. Like I don't know why she's not green because she's green in the movie. I also think that in the trailer that has dubstep, why does it have 
dub step. That's very confusing to me, but I'm not a marketer. So what do I know? I'm just, I just like World of Warcraft. I'm still gonna go see the movie. Uh, Duncan Jones, who is the director of World of Warcraft. No, he's the director of Warcraft the movie. I'm like, losing it a little bit today. Uh, Duncan Jones had nothing to do with the marketing, so I don't wanna judge the movie based on the marketing. Plus, you guys know I toured the set and nearly fainted every two seconds because it was so amazing. So, oh, speaking of which, this is a good time. Transition, transition. I, uh, I think that I am allowed to release the audio interviews that I did when I was on the set of the Warcraft movie, so I will be working on those this week. I'm not sure that I'll have any to release this week, but I should have a bunch to release next week. I have interviews with Toby Kebbell, who played Duratan, with Ben Schnetzer, who played uh, Khadgar. I have interviews with Ruth Nega, who plays Lady Taria. I have interviews with uh, Clancy Brown, who plays Black Hand. Um, a bunch, a bunch, oh, uh, Oh God, I just had his name and then it escaped me. It escaped me, oh, oh no, 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 come back. Ben Foster, uh, Ben Foster who plays Medivh, I have an interview with him. I also have interviews with like, I think both of the directors, which is uh, Stuart Fennigan and Duncan Jones, Bill Westenhofer who did all of the special effects as well as people who worked in the prop department. I just have to, I have to go through like hours of footage and I'm not very good at like, tra I'm like don't really type very fast. I mean, I feel like I type fast until I started like trying to transcribe things and I do not type as quickly as people talk and I got really overwhelmed and like had to take a had to take a seat. <laughs> so I will be working on those and I'm gonna get those out. Um, I do kind of like want to apologize ahead of time because I know the audio quality is not fantastic on them. I wish it was better, but we were on a hot set. Things were being moved around. At one point, a crane we had to move because a crane was like trying to drive through where we were. So it's like I know there's a lot of wind and background noise, but I feel like releasing the audio is better than releasing nothing. And I'll also be releasing like. Tumblr, I guess, I'll probably use Tumblr because I don't know what else I would use, posts of the transcripts as well. So you can you can listen to it. I'll have closed captioning um, right on the video because I don't have any actual video. That's a long story. That's a long story. Anyways, it should be a good time. TLDR, it should be a good time. And last up today, I wanna to talk about the World of Warcraft Chronicles Volume 1, which is a book that I'm very excited about. Actually, I'm not excited about it, I own it. It's over there, and I started reading it. It's basically like a picture book for adults that fills in a bunch of lore in World of Warcraft that we may have missed out on in other books and games and novels and stuff like that. The Chronicles Volume 1 covers the creation of Azeroth until the events in Warcraft 1. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of art and a lot of things that we've never seen before. There's maps and cosmology charts and all sorts of stuff like that. It's currently, I want to say, around $24 on Amazon, which is on sale if you want to order it for yourself. But Wowhead is also giving away several copies. So if you would like to enter Wowhead's giveaway, I will have a link in the info below. And that actually leads me to today's question of the day, which is actually the question you would have to answer in order to enter Wowhead's giveaway, but not here. If you want to enter Wowhead's giveaway, click the link in the info below. If you just want to participate in the comment section of my video, you can still do that. And my question for you is, what are you most excited about to read in the Warcraft Chronicles, whether it be volume one or a future volume? I was personally excited to read more about the old gods and the titans and like the creation is all very interesting to me. I also always love reading about the dragon aspect Specs, and basically I'm a nerd and I like reading about everything. But what about you? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember, if you want to enter Wowhead's giveaway, you have to follow the link in the info below. If you want to buy it for yourself, I'll have a link as well. Uh, yeah, so answer the question. Here's our answers to last week's question. And that is it for this week's Downtime Tuesday. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure that you thumb it up, answer our question in the comment section below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. As always, everything I talked about today is linked in the description of this video. Be sure to check back next Tuesday and every Tuesday for future episodes of Downtime Tuesday, because Tuesday, and also to see if your comment is in our featured section. I'm gonna go, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all, you're in my hearts, I'll see you soon, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, ah!